Hi everyone, just a quick update here. Update number four. We're still looking at significant precipitation, though it looks like the majority of it's going to be Thursday night and Friday morning. So in the meantime, scattered showers will increase tonight into Thursday morning, but overall, not a lot of active weather in our region through Thursday. Now, to our west and north, Ventura County, Santa Barbara, a lot of heavy rain continuing in that area. Our rain looks to be significant Thursday night and Friday morning. All right, here's the culprit. Take a look at it, upper level closed low. Strong subtropical jet though coming into the Baja and the jet stream itself is wrapped around the low. So you got two areas of strong wind, one causing it to dive south and one causing it to almost shift north. So it's becoming stationary. There's a battle going on out there. Uh, when that subtropical jet continues to eject to the east, that will help kick it along. And we also have some polar jet activity up in British Columbia that will push it along Thursday and Friday. A lot of instability, though, over the water. And we can see it on the satellite here in bringing some heavy rain to Point Conception. Here's the summary. Some of the key changes, not the fact that the largest and heaviest rains moving into Santa Barbara, but the heavy rain for our region looks to be Thursday night and Friday morning, primarily. So some of the totals have gone down a little bit, but generally one to two inches of rain is expected most areas. With a heavy wet snow up above 6,500 feet. The storm will move through, like I said, Thursday night and Friday morning. That's when we could see the heaviest rain and rainfall rates. Additional storms next week, well, not much. Uh, but we will see some more rain after Christmas. So keep that in mind. Active jet stream uh, really develops in the Pacific. So dry for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, but potential for some rain after. This is the storm total for California coming up. So this will be for Wednesday through Friday. You can see some of the changes from overnight through this morning, the weather model data that we have in the actual official forecast. So you can see across Southwest California, the total rainfall expected is now a little bit lower. Instead of those purple red areas, you see more of the blue, light blue shaded. This is through Thursday. Um, and so this is the showers that are going to increase Wednesday evening and overnight and only be scattered on Thursday. You can see clearly the bulk of the rain is west of LA, some really heavy rain already unfolding and continuing in that area. Now the rainfall for Thursday night and Friday, that's our primary rainfall. Yellow shaded is areas expected over an inch. Some of that rain will come down in heavy bursts and thunderstorms. And so we're looking at the potential for even locally heavier amounts in San Diego County. And of course this rain will move south to north and run into the mountains as well. This is a model depiction of the rainfall. So you can see some really intense rain uh, was predicted for Point Conception, Santa Barbara coast, all the way down to Ventura County. You can see another area that's expected with the upper low when it moves through Thursday night and Friday morning over our region, San Diego County and Western Riverside up into the San Bernardino Mountains. Now we do have instability. What does instability mean? That means we could see some heavy rain. Uh, that occurs Thursday night and Friday morning. I'm showing you an example here uh, over the San Diego area. So some of the showers could be quite heavy, even though localized. The excessive outlook, this is the latest information. Yellow means there is a threat for too much rain and local urban flooding, small stream flooding. The red could be some serious flooding as shown here. That's up on Point Conception in Santa Barbara, Ventura area. Now, after Friday morning, we still remain in a slight risk, uh, the lowest end there, which is marginal. Uh, so there's still gonna be some lingering heavy rain on Friday. The water levels for our rivers. Uh, they're still expected to be a significant rise, San Diego River, Santa Margarita, and of course other rivers as well. Um, but they're not expected to reach flood stage, very low chance.
But the, here's the latest prediction. You can see the updates at weather.gov. Now the cold air, the cold air takes its time. We're looking at snow levels on Wednesday. They're up around 8,000 feet. They're going to be coming down to about 7,000 feet on Thursday. And then Thursday night down to 6,500. We could see low uh, snow all the way down to 6,000 feet. Um, but the main accumulation is above 6,500 feet. Here's a snowfall prediction. Uh, the heavy wet snow, you can see all the way down to between 6,000 and 6,500 feet. So at the ski resort level, several inches of snow, perhaps even up to around a foot at 8,000 feet. Uh, some of the highways could get a covering of one to three inches of wet snow. So keep that in mind Thursday night and Friday morning. You can see that on this, what we call cross section as well, over the St. Gabriel's, 8,000 feet and then dropping and hovering between 6,000 and 6,500 feet. Not really a windy storm, but these are the wind gusts, 20 to 30 miles per hour with some of the rain showers um, on Thursday. So keep that in mind. Uh, the wind will be strongest over the coast and then of course, some stronger wind gusts in the mountains and high deserts. These are some of the alerts you might see. Right now, a flood watch is in effect. So you can see the definition of what that means. If we get into a situation where there's flood warnings issued, those go to smartphones and also to TV and radio. Currently, flood watch as this video is issued. You can get the latest updates here. Find yourself, look at your location and see what your hazards are. This is a dynamic map, so it changes as soon as they are issued. The storm is slow moving. It's closed off, but it's going to swing through Thursday night and Friday morning. So by Friday afternoon, as shown here, it's going to be east of San Diego. So right now it's taking its time, but it'll start to kick out as that subtropical jet stream pushes through the Baja region. So the low pressure in the upper atmosphere will go right over San Diego Thursday night and early Friday. It also has a lot of moisture with it and instability, so that moisture is being transported and wrapping right into the storm and along the coast as shown here. So again, our target for significant rain in our region of far Southern California is Thursday night and early Friday. The jet stream. The jet stream is split right now as we showed, but there's a big subtropical component going in the Baja region that'll help kick it along. There's also a polar component going into British Columbia. Those two will combine to kick this system along, even though it's being really stubborn and stalled out right now. Now, next week during the holiday week, a really consolidated Pacific jet stream sets up really strong, over 200 miles per hour. Um, you can also see that subtropical jet really crank up in the Gulf of Mexico. It looks like the next series of storms in the holiday week will be Northern California and even Central California but we'll get the tail end of those after Christmas. This shows that, this is the latest outlook, and it shows from the 26th of December through the 30th, next best chance of rain from that strong jet stream, and it includes Southern California getting some of that rainfall as well.